Hey everyone, this is Jaime with Roosters Comics coming to you with this week's pull list, the week of April 16th, 2023. Only four books today on the list, um, and two good reads, and the other two I haven't, you know, haven't read yet. But let's go ahead and get into it. Once again, guys, um, if you do like my content, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and I truly appreciate it. Remember, once I get to that 150 subscriber mark, I will be announcing what my 9.8 slab giveaway will be, and I promise you, it'll be a good one. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the list. These books I picked up are from my local LCS Heroes and Villains, Tucson, Arizona. Shout out to you guys. And first book of the day is DC Lazarus Planet Revenge of the Undead Gods. This is issue three of four of the limited miniseries. And like I said, once I get all four, I'll read it. If it's any good, I'll share it. If not, It'll just go into the collection. Um, when I go buy my books, I like to buy complete runs. So if and ever with, or if and when I ever do sell them or trade them in, people appreciate when you have complete runs versus parts of a run. And I'm the same way. If I'm gonna buy a collection, I'd like to buy, especially with a bunch of mini series in it, I'd like to buy the complete run. So this way I've got the whole story and any keys that are involved in the particular book. Book number two today is Batman and Joker, The Deadly Duo, book six. And this is actually, well, book one is actually on the cover prices hot books of the week. So I don't know what's making it a hot book, issue one, but so far, like I said, the first two issues were fantastic. I haven't I've yet to read the last four, but I look forward to reading them once I've get the, once the miniseries is complete. And now we're going into the two books that we're gonna go ahead and discuss a little bit about and spoiler warning guys just so you know there are gonna be minor spoils in spoilers in here I will not try to divulge the whole story because I, I would love for you guys to pick up these books and read it I mean whenever you go buy new comics it just helps the market and keeps the comic book industry going and the first book of the day is Batman issue 134 where we le last left off Batman. Batman was in the alternate universe in the sewers of Gotham because that's where the new Arkham Asylum is. We find out that the true villain is Darius Warren or Wallace or Darwin, Darwin something. And it, it just happens to be the Joker of this world, except he never got converted into the Joker gas. So Batman and Catwoman are basically navigating through their things and he runs into, I'm just going to call him the Joker, runs into the Joker and basically the Joker finally divulges his whole plan to him, basically saying, you know, he was a chemist here or a scientist. He built one of the greatest, you know, pharmaceutical companies ever. And he discovered this gas that basically showed him the multiverse and it showed him his true form and his true form was the Joker because he said he always had this void in there. So he's like, he, what he wants to do is he wants to achieve that pure, true form, and he's willing to do anything it takes to get there. Um, he gets ready to unleash his gas. Bruce has to fight through a bunch of people, aka like Ghost Maker. Uh, apparently he captured Superman in this world. He captured the Flash. There were a bunch of people he captured. Batman does prevent the gas from going forward, but something happens at the end, and I don't want to share it. So far, Sudarsky's Batman run's been pretty good. Batman in this alternate universe with this alternate Gotham is, even though there is, you know, a lot of the same tropes that, you know, Gotham's in trouble, Gotham's, you know, taken over by these tyrants, it's a different universe. And, you know, seeing how a Gotham would be or a world would be without a Batman is discovered, in, you know, in detail in this. Like Bruce is talking to himself, having a lot of inner monologues about this. So this is what it would be without me. And he realizes the importance. And I think Chip Zdarsky is trying to relay the importance of how important a world with Batman is. And I think he's doing a pretty, pretty good job of it. And the last book of the day is my favorite so far. And that's Noctera issue 13. Last we left off, Bill had stopped the Sundogs or, you know, Emery, Val and all of them from trying, you know, trying to get to Eos. Bill's basically talking to Emery, saying that, you know, he's been in his mind, he knows what's going on, he knows his greatest fears, and he's trying to use those fears against him. They kind of slow down Bill, and they get to the location of where Eos is. There are a whole bunch of shades surrounding the place, so since Val has got the new nano suit that she could, makes her all black, she mm -hmm. decides to see if she could find an entrance into Eos since the shades can't detect her. 
But if she does cut herself, or if they do smell blood, they'll they'll notice that she's there and they'll attack her on the spot. So Val goes, works their way between you know the shades. Some things happen. The crap hits the fan. She starts booking it. The convoy tries to meet up with her as she's running from the shades, and this big trap door opens, and they all fall into it, and the door closes before the shades can get there. Next scene is set up where they're basically just walking down this big hallway. A door opens, and it's nothing but blinding light. And that's all I'm going to leave it as. This was a very, very good read. So we kind of see now where the light is in this world. It looks, apparently, it's in this little bunker underground. I'm curious to see how the light is going to get put back into the universe or into the world. And I don't want to tell you the source of the light because that's a major spoiler. This book was a very, very good read. I am so happy that Scott Snyder got back on to writing this book. And I cannot wait to see where the story goes. And that's it, guys. That's my pull list this week. Um, I'll be doing my Specs of the Week video right after this. So you'll see two uploads today. Um, once again, guys, if you have any comments on these books or if there's any other books that you'd like me to pick up and read, give me, you know, put it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And also, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. All right, guys. And finally, keep your ear out for that rooster crowing because when the rooster crows, that means there's a good deal out there. Jaime Hernandez, Roosters Comics, signing out. Talk to you guys soon.